Hi and welcome to Inerda Gamers. The game today we're going to look at is Containment as part of the Mayhere Bundle by Indie Royale. Let's get started then. Containment has two gameplay modes, Campaign and Survival Mode. The Campaign mode is made up of three acts each containing five chapters. Each chapter takes you through the story of the zombie apocalypse in small bite sized chunks of just a few lines by embedding the text within the environment so as not to break the immersion of the game with pop up windows or affect the style of game. Gameplay tutorials are likewise handled in the same way. In survival mode you have the ability to state if you want to play a 10 or 20 block challenge. Each block of the game usually adds one new feature so overall the action feels much faster paced as you reach the more difficult aspects of the game more quickly. The gameplay has some similarities with Bejeweled except instead of creating lines of the same type you need to surround the zombies with the survivors of the same type. You can swap any two survivors with one another by simply clicking on the one you want to move and then clicking on the survivor you want to exchange places with. Sometimes this can be a little awkward due to the hitboxes and you may have to aim a little higher than you first thought. At various points special drops will appear at the bottom of the screen. If you click on one of them whilst having one of your special item slots free it will be added to the next available slot. Though these special items can help you out in a tight corner by removing whole lines, a cluster of zombies, a specific zombie, or turn your survivors into effectively wild cars, more often than not, if you're doing well, you don't want to break the flow of your game by using them. If you're not quick enough to grab the pickups, then you complete the level, then you lose your opportunity to grab them at all. This can be a little frustrating, as there is no visual or audio cue to let you know that a pickup has appeared, so you might miss the opportunity whilst trying to keep your survivors alive. As the level progresses, things get a little harder for you as zombies start to appear from the sides and eat your survivors, or rise up from the ground and drag your survivors away to their doom. In addition to new ways in which your survivors are converted into zombies, you also have to contend with new creatures that start to appear. One of the first being a human-like necromancer followed by a large glowing zombie. Score is determined by how quickly you complete the level and also how many survivors were killed. So for the best possible score you need to strike a balance between saving your survivors and completing the level quickly. If you like puzzle games with a twist then this game might interest you. But without more challenging modes or potential for expansion this game does have a limited lifespan. But given the bargain value by being bundled with other games, this game is worth a look and a little play. Well that's it for now, hope you've enjoyed this, if you want to leave a comment just post below and I'll see you next time.